Good morning, gents. I'm about to start off today's discussion with a statement that you may or may not heard, but it's gonna be a bold one. Most of the modern women out here today will end up being single and childless by the year 2030. Is that not a surprise to everybody? 45% of working women ages 25 to 45 will be non-married, no kids, single. So what's wrong with that? So you might say, well, what's wrong with that? If you think that you're gonna genuinely be fulfilled in life because you made money, best of luck to you. I do not want to get married. Yesterday, I told my parents that I don't want to have kids. My mom was shocked. She gave me like, like the horrible, like awful, like upset face, like the worst face she's ever made of me and freaked out. And my dad just was like, no, you're having kids. It's as if it's up to him. Well, why won't you marry me? Have we ever taken the time to ask ourselves, why are we so obsessed with this ideal of marriage as women? Why are we so obsessed to having a man's last name, to the even the ceremony. Why? When I tell people I don't want to have kids or I don't want to be married and they tell me, oh, no, 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 you're going to change your mind. You're going to meet a guy and you're, you know, you're going to change your mind on those decisions. I always ask them, do you think I'm stupid? Can I ask a question about kids? Yeah. What's your feelings on them? In my 20s, I would have said absolutely must have kids. I want them. At 30, I started questioning if that was just something that society's told me that I've wanted. I, there's not a lot of men I meet that I think they'd be great fathers. And you would know that how. And so I, I kind of don't have that instinct to like procreate with them because I'm like, oh, I don't know if this would be an equal parenting relationship. So I don't think I want to have kids like ever, ever in life, okay? And the reason why is because I don't have what I feel like is a valid reason to have a child. I feel like majority of times when I talk to people or ask people why it is that they want to have kids, like the people that are very adamant, like I always wanted to have kids since I was young. And I ask them why, it's always a very deeply selfish, narcissistic reason. I don't want to have kids because I want my money to go towards more more important things, me. We need to have this discussion on marriage and having children. On one hand, you have a bunch of men who say don't get married. Hell, I've been one of those men. But on the other hand, you have men, even men on this channel, who say that they wish that they had a wife of their own that would lead to having children someday, preferably with a good woman. And recently I put out that single moms video and a lot of men gave women crap for not being married before having kids. Gents, you can't have it both ways. What up gents, welcome to TSG Uncut. I'm your host, Sean C. We're about to go on a journey today and we're gonna look at how some modern women feel about marriage and having kids. How women vary on these decisions and why. Why men don't wanna get married and how these decisions will end up with more and more women ending up single and childless if both men and women don't change their mindsets. With that being said, let's get started. Being a housewife is not a reward. Being a woman of leisure is a reward. She belongs to the streets. But that's the same. No, thing. they're not. No, they're not. If you're a woman of leisure, you don't have responsibilities. Your responsibility is being a woman of leisure. If you are a housewife, you maintain and you manage the house. That's not a Ford, it's a job. No, I won't be doing that. Whether it's only 20 hours a week is still a job. If there's no kids. If, if you, about if you trying to reward me because I was there through the tough times, let me be a woman of leisure. Let me be a kept woman. That is a reward. Rewarding me with washing dishes is not a reward. Y'all, can we talk about cohabitation and can we talk about how so many women have got to the point where we're like, we don't want to live with you. We're, we don't want to live with you. That's not what we want. Oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna remember that shit. We don't want you to spend the night over here. You need to go home. You need to call somebody, get you an Uber, get you a Lyft, and you need to get on up the highway. Y'all, we really have gotten to this point where we are so comfortable making our own decisions, making our own money. We have our own homes, apartments, everything decorated how we are living our life y'all we really don't want to live with these men no more do we you damn right i don't i don't really see the benefit of having children and i know that makes me sound very selfish no it doesn't but i personally feel like it's a very selfless act to have kids and i think a lot of people have kids for selfish reasons actually i think they have them because they don't want to be alone i think they have them because they want something to always love them i think they want to see themselves in, in another person they want something for themselves whereas i think if you are gonna be a good parent, you have to be selfless and know that you are literally giving up 
your life to now take care of another human. Yes, it does actually. Tell her when a man looking for what? Looking for a wife. When a man looking for a wife, what do he need to look at? What damn thing you look at the mom? And why is that? That tells the whole story. What you get? I think she understands everything. That the day you you tell me you get the real wife? Or you getting the hope? Damn! A street clapper? I'm not surprised. My Korean mom has always been team don't get married, don't have kids. She's actually very pro have multiple boyfriends throughout the span of your life. Date them if you feel like it, break up with them if you feel like it. Think long and hard about who you're getting married to, but if you want to get divorced, do it quickly with no hesitation. Because I grew up with that kind of an influence, she's never pressured me to get married or have kids. She's also never planted this idea that I need a man to take care of me. The only time I feel sad about being single is when I come on the internet and I see other girls girls being sad about being single. Truthfully, have never romanticized being a mother. My little life plan backed by my mother so is to be in multiple long-term, short-term relationships with very cool men and just have a good time along the way. I'm an independent woman now. When do you think you have kids? I'm not having kids. What you mean you're not having kids? I'm not having kids. That's what you was born here to do? No, I'm not. Why would you not want to have kids? Why would well, I? I'm asking you. Why don't I want to have kids? I don't see any benefit. I, I, not me. I won't be doing that. I will never do I would never do that. You have a kid and your life becomes about the kid. I want my life to be about me. I wish you the best of luck. I have a fantastic and supportive boyfriend and he's in my life because I want him in my life. Yes, that's your answer. That's your answer to everything. He doesn't pay any of my bills. We don't live together and I have no intentions of getting married. I have a huge group of female friends. You were a fool for harboring these rebels. I have a job that I love. I have hobbies I adore. I feel valued, connected, and fulfilled. I don't have a husband and I don't have children. I just don't want you to listen to some guy with a podcast saying that you will be a miserable old crone if you don't do these things. I am a single mother. When women talk about being child free, it never bothers me because I enjoy motherhood. While I wasn't planning to have a child, my son is really like an amazing child. I like my kid, like I love raising him. So when someone speaks about how much they love not having any kids or they may speak about, you know, not having any kids in a way to make it seem like, oh, it's negative towards people who have children, I ignore them. When you get offended by a woman who does not have children speaking on not having children, it only makes you seem like you regret having children. No, no, I think you were confused. It was Eight out of 10 women who are childless didn't intend to be childless. It's called involuntary child Listeners. Around about 10% of women are physically incapable of having kids for a variety of reasons. 10% said that they actually didn't intend to have children, and that leaves a whopping four out of five who didn't have children due to life circumstances. That's the most common reason for it, and the most common life circumstance is leaving it too late to find a partner and then have kids. You break through that fertility window on the other side. These women who get into their 40s, who always intended to have a family, who realize that they now can't, they go to support groups, and these women are grieving for families that they never had. I think that ship has sailed, don't you? As you heard, a lot of these modern women today do not want to get married. They do not want to have children. They want to continue living their single, independent lifestyle because it's about the lifestyle. And some may argue that the women having this type of mindset makes them a selfish person. One could argue that this type of mindset coming from women who don't care to have kids or don't care to have marriage may be unappealing to some of you men. But if it's unappealing to you as a man, that just should let you know that is not the type of woman that you should be searching for if you want to have kids, if you prioritize marriage. And despite all the influences out there telling women not to get married, not to have children, not to prioritize a husband, whether that be from society whether it be family, whether it be from these mothers out there, a lot of women still want to get married. So if that's the case, how is it that so many women can't find husbands? But I want a man. Like I need a man. That's what I'm talking about! I like wow. to even hear that. I love that. Yeah. We need more women saying that, for real. You ain't lying. I mean, women are crazy for saying, I don't need a man, I'm independent. I'm like, I don't need to be independent. I want to be taken care of in any way. I don't know why they would say I don't need a man. I, need uh, one. I don't even know why they would think it's, men would find that attractive. I am too grown for a boyfriend. I'm looking for a husband. I want a husband. I'm afraid she has a point. I don't need a boyfriend. I don't need another boyfriend. And I don't need to be anybody's girlfriend. I'm a wife. Give me my ring. Uh, now the truth comes out. Our turn.
30 this year. And now 30 for some reason, I feel like I'm going from like a baby to a grandma. Now I'm stressed out. I'm like, wait a minute, my 401k is looking real little. I'm supposed to retire with that money. I don't have any kids. Should I be freezing my eggs? I gotta buy a house. I'm going from a little baby to a grandma. He's actually undefeated. The men out there who are 50-50 warriors, providing is in the Bible, okay? You cannot call yourself a man of God or a man of faith if you're not a provider. Read the Bible. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Yeah, that part of the Bible's talking about his wife. Not some chick he met at the Carolina Classic and went on two dates to the Cheesecake Factory. It also says that your duty will be to your husband and he shall rule over thee. And we know y'all don't want to be ruled over. I'm tired of watching people marry people's wallets. You marry the wallet, but you go home with the man and all of a sudden you find yourself stuck. I just told him that I want to get a divorce. <laughs> I know this was the best decision for the both of us. Are you sure about that? Yeah, but I know, like, it may not seem like it right now, but this is gonna be like the best decision for the both of us. And we're gonna be so much happier because we're gonna find the person who was meant to be. She belongs to the streets. Y'all know that part in the wedding vows that say to love, honor, and, and obey, and y'all don't be wanting to say that part? When y'all be saying that y'all don't want to say that part, I be quiet because I do what that man say. As a woman, I don't need a man to protect me. What I need is for men not to hurt me. Good luck with that. I wish her well. I need men not to harm me because if men didn't harm me, then I wouldn't need protection. Women had their fathers to vet that guy out, and it was mm -hmm. like an authority. Like, young man, True. shake my hand. Mm. I'm handing my daughter over to you. Right. Bro, you better take care. Bring her back. And so, so, as true. a man, it wasn't just, I gotta do right by this woman because I'm supposed to do right by the woman. Her daddy gonna f me up. When you take that out, this is when stuff started to get weird. Yeah. And then women gotta try to know more stuff in areas that we not educated exactly. in order to vet you out. They don't listen. They never listen. How can a person continue doing the same things for like 5, 10, 15, and 20 years and not pick up on this thing that I do doesn't work well for my long-term big picture. When that men cheat, I get rid of them, and then I get another one that cheats. That doesn't make sense. That's because women don't think long-term. We're not programmed to think that way. We're programmed to be short-term multitaskers to take care of most of the children, to meet the needs of everybody, including the husband. So we think short-term, immediate reaction, immediate recompense, right? But for men, they have to think long-term. They have to be organized. That's where the structure comes in the home, because we don't have it without them. So the organization, the structure, the provision, the protect, all that comes from the husband. Yes, damn right. We've We've not been trained. We've not been conditioned to understand you. We've been trained to fight against you. Right. We've been trained to go against you. We've watched our mamas, our grandmamas, our aunties speak ill of a black man. So now when a black man comes and he good, you waiting for the bad because grandmama told you black men one shit. Mama told you black one one shit. Your auntie said black men ain't shit. So all you have in your mind is black men ain't shit. And so when you get that beautiful black man, he's now got to say to you, erase everything they told you. Right. A man is raised on how to take care of a woman, like how to provide what a woman needs. A woman is raised to know what to demand mm -hmm. from a man. Rarely are women raised, and that's why so many of them struggle when they run into a good guy, because damn, I don't know how to be a great woman to this good guy. You know, my parents then told me, hey, you deserve this from a man. You deserve that from a man. You deserve this. But rarely ever do they sit you down and say, hey, once you find a good man, though, this, this is how you take care of this man. Because it's the truth. She knows it. Women used to be more docile in relationships or not necessarily as out there. Now in relationships, you're posting bikini pictures and you're online texting with X, Y, and Z and you're putting yourself out there a lot more. And I think men have been a lot more scarred by women. I think it that back like in it. the day, <laughs> women were less, you know, out there. Black women today, they don't believe in putting the work in. Instead of completing steps one through 50, black women believe they could just get to step 50 and then just go straight to 100 and just strike gold, pick up the gold at the end. And that's not how that works. You don't deserve it. Black women today feel like they don't have to do anything but just be beautiful and just collect. You're supposed to give. Men are supposed to just give to the black woman without them putting work in themselves or even with the men. 
The reason why those women that you consider ugly or unattractive or who don't fit the standard or societal ideals of beauty often get the best men and get treated the best is because they have more to offer than looks. They have more to bring than just their bodies and they have more to give than just their goodies. And even when a man thinks that he wants the pretty princesses and the BBL baddies, it's usually all based in ego, what he's been conditioned to believe about what is attractive in a woman and what he thinks is going to make him be perceived as an alpha male when other men see him with his woman. But what often happens is that those same men who think that they want a certain type of woman choose the so-called ugly women to be their partners for life, to be the mothers of their children and to be their wives. Because when they meet a woman who has something to offer more than just the physical, who has brains, who knows how to be a partner, who's kind and loving and caring, and who introduces him to having an experience with a woman that goes beyond the things he thought he valued can change his whole life. Now let's be real, gents. A lot of modern women out there aren't wife material. They'll look at marriage as something they want, something that they want to be a part of, something they want to experience. But the same women that look at it as just an event to happen aren't looking at it in the long term. I believe that it's women's internal clock that makes them feel that they have to get married, but they won't prioritize doing the work that it takes in order to be wife material. They tend to want marriage on their own terms, but what they don't realize is that marriage is something that men choose. The choices that a woman makes concerning marriage and prioritizing how she's gonna be a wife has a profound effect on her ability to be able to attract the husband. And because of that, later on, we're gonna discuss why men don't wanna get married today. But now we need to look at how women today will choose to become mothers before securing stable relationships. This is a huge problem that we're seeing today. Something that I would never forgive this entire generation for is normalizing co-parenting households, normalizing single parents, and just normalizing having kids, period, without being married. I would not forgive y'all for that. Why didn't you marry your child's father? Why didn't I marry my daughter's father? Because I didn't want to, and that was not the path that I took for a reason. I'm asking why. I just didn't want to. He wasn't marriage material. You created this problem. That was but he was birth had. material. I want you to understand these women are so much character driven. And I want you to listen to the answers. Get over my tone. Listen to the intent. I asked you a question. She's not being direct. It's not something I wanted to do. Then why did you make a baby with it? You let him hit it wrong. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. So I just seen a post that said single moms be having all these standards and they baby daddy meets none of them. Like, of course, he was the lesson. Now she knows what to look for in a man and what not to look for. She stood on business and she moved on. Next subject. Oops, she did it again. So what do you have to say? But I didn't do anything wrong. We have been told that the only benefit that a black man provides in a home is money. And if he does not give us money to take care of those kinds of financial provisions, that he has no value. And uh, what my research has proven to me is that uh, a black man, a any man in any home, provides much more than financial support. Uh, the man provides guidance, instruction, discipline for the children, which we sorely need in our black homes. People think that this boy show you to do something a black woman gonna tell you this my kid when she get mad and you do something she gonna remind you this her kid and from that moment on you let her raise her kid you just correct him when he do wrong in your eyes because that's what a man does but you don't try to instill nothing in her child when you got a woman that takes on that concept you let her ruin her child by herself do a woman's value really decline yes your, your, your value child. declines based on having a child absolutely yeah well that's bullshit i don't buy a fucking word of it if you could afford any car on the car lot are you gonna go get a car with 200,000 miles on it, the starter's fucked up, the transmission finna blow out, or you gonna go get the brand, the brand so new one that they just brought off the truck with no zero miles? I would get the car with zero miles. Clever girl. There are men out there who that. would actually choose a woman who has a kid, even no, if he doesn't that. have kids. It's my baby boss. It's mine, I'm 
I'm the father of that baby, boss. Boss, I'm that baby's daddy. Any fool can see that baby belongs to me. I want a different. That little rascal belongs to me. Proud to say, boss, I'm that baby's daddy. I be the paw, boss. I'm the paw of that dear youngin', boss. I'm the baby. <laughs> I'm not having a baby unless it rings on my finger. And a lot of black women tell me, oh. Being a wife and being a baby mama is totally different. And this is something else I stand firm on and 10 toes down on. If a man is not going to put his life on the line, meaning cover you spiritually, financially, physically, everything, then do not put your life and your body on the line to have his child. What's your job? We know that modern women will lay down with Pookie, Glocktavius, Felon. Antonio have kids with that man before she will take a man who is more suitable to her or husband material. A growing number of men just don't want to get married anymore. Now there are varying reasons for this, but women need to start asking themselves the question, are any of these reasons something that I'm doing that's keeping me from having a husband? My behaviors, my attitude, the way I'm going about my business? How can I take on and learn the characteristics of being a wife that's going to make a man want to marry me and have kids with me? It's not that men don't want relationships and it's not that men don't want to marry because there are a lot of men who still want that. They are attentive to what is going on now. That is a huge sacrifice for men to marry. Let's be real about this. They know that they are more than likely potentially sacrificing their freedom, their resources, their ideas, sometimes their beliefs as well. You'd be surprised how literally men that are 40 years old, they still don't know what they want. They're still not ready to commit. I don't think it's about not knowing what they want or not ready to commit. I think it's that you're going to come to a crossroads and understand the pros and cons to a relationship or a marriage. And you have to weigh the options like does it benefit me or does it not benefit me? Clearly doesn't benefit a bunch of them because they can get anyone they want anytime. And it's not about that because that doesn't determine if they get women or don't get women. We're talking about strictly is there a benefit to me getting married at all? Do you think men think there's no benefit to being married? A lot of them it's actually worse if they get married. It's like a huge risk. Why? For the woman she has the opportunity to get the kids automatically she get to have half of his earnings without having to earn what he earned or hustle what he hustled they have the opportunity to be able to get alimony they have the opportunity to own assets that they didn't work for what does this man benefit for if it doesn't work out not a damn thing when a man wants to get married he's only getting married truly for one reason because let me be honest with you women the men can work and provide for themselves he does not necessarily need you to cook clean and have sex because he can get sex for multiple women They're giving it out. A lot of them can cook and clean. Their mother taught them or they can pay someone to get it. The culture is telling them do not get married. So why would a man go past what the culture is telling him and choose to have a wife? Because with a wife, you can now have love. You can now have nurturing. You can have support. You can have affection. This is what he can't get from a roommate. So if that is not what you're leading with in your relationships with men is love, support, nurturing, and respect, this is why your husband husband is now pulling away because in the beginning you gave him those things but as you got into the relationship you got bitter you got resentful you start seeing his flaws start counting that against him you start measuring him against other men and now you're pulling back on the love the affection and the nurturing if you like today's video please subscribe to the channel and become a gent if you want to see more content just like this you're going to want to click on this video right here and i promise you you won't regret it